Um, yeah. There's there's this very puritanical witch hunt going on in American society about shutting down, I think, any kind of joyous, free understanding of sexuality that has a, a, an adult acknowledgement that sometimes things don't go well. Sometimes you wish you hadn't done that. Sometimes you wish you hadn't fucked that guy or that girl. Where are we today in terms of our sexual relationships? Like if if you want to call it monogamy 3.0, like the, the shit that we're currently uh, doing with each other, wh wh where do you think we are today and what's your outlook for the near future? Well, yeah, it depends what you mean by we, right? If you're talking about American society, I think that's a specific situation. Let, that let's is, do uh let's do America first. Yeah. Well, I think America's America is spoken like a true American. Let's do America first. <laughs> yeah. We're number one We're, after yeah, all. Yeah, no other country has any uh, ever done anything great. Um yeah, I think uh the United States is it's such a weird country. My, I have a Spanish friend. I lived in Spain for 20 some years. And, uh, so when I look at the U S it's kind of like from Europe in some ways. Um, and I had this friend, the Spanish friend, and we were talking about America one time. And he said, he said, Chris, the best thing and the worst thing about your country is that you have no sense of the ridiculous. Mm. And I said, what do you mean by that? He's like, well, you know, like Jimi Hendrix could only have been American. No Spanish guy would ever have thought like, well, fuck it. I'm left handed. I'm going to string the guitar backwards, you know, and then like, fuck it while I'm playing it and play with my tongue. Like, you know, that's just not mm. going to happen in Spain. Right. Um, but on the other hand, you know, George Bush Jr. would never be president, you know, or prime minister of Spain. Like th th we would just look at him and be like, that guy's a buffoon. There's nobody's going to vote for him. Mm. So, yeah, you know, there's, there's this thing about America where the pendulum swings further. You know, I think the pendulum swings in all cultures, but in America, it just seems to be like really swinging far. So, you know, in the seventies, late sixties, early seventies, you had this real sense of sexual freedom and uh people were having a lot of fun and you know key parties and you know all that kind of stuff was going on and then of course you had aids and this pendulum swang the other way with the reagan Re revolution and all this kind of christian fundamentalism coming into political culture and um and i feel like What's happening now is is that a lot of the sexual repression is coming from the side that used to be supporting sexual freedom. So mm. there's all this weird shit where like Aziz Ansari has a bad date and suddenly his career's over, you know, or mm. like there's all this shaming and shutting down. You know, Woody Allen is a monster who's never been convicted of anything. The people who investigated him in both cases in New York and Connecticut, the, the government to investigate him said, there's nothing here. There's no evidence. There's, we're not even going to bring charges. And yet, you know, all these actors are saying, I'll never work with Woody Allen again. I'm ashamed I've ever worked. Like, what the fuck? Wh whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? You know, um, yeah. there's there's this very puritanical witch hunt going on in American society um, about shutting down, I think, any kind of joyous, free understanding of sexuality that has a, a an adult acknowledgement that sometimes things don't go well. Sometimes you wish you hadn't done that. Sometimes you wish you hadn't fucked that guy or that girl. Sometimes you had too much to drink and you said something stupid. Sometimes professional comedians make jokes that land wrong. Like it feels mm. like in America, the culture is in this weird frenzy of wanting to blame and be offended. And that's not sexy. So mm. I'm sorry for people your age who are going through this shit because it's like, the that's not a good party to go to. I, I can't imagine that's a lot of fun, like dating and worrying that you're going to be destroyed if you say the wrong thing or you, you know, touch someone's breast without getting a signed consent form. 
Um, that's mm. definitely not sexy. So I think that, you know, American society is in this weird place where uh, there's this sort of um, culture of shame that's that's very strong right now. But on the other hand, I know that there are a lot of people who opt out of that. And I think that there's a, you know, in a microcosm in sexuality, it's sort of a reflection of a macro uh, view of this, of the sort of collapse of Western civilization, which is that, yeah, the structures are fucked up and corrupted and, and tottering and falling apart. And that's potentially horrible, but what it does is it opens up opportunities for us to form our own sort of enclaves. It, we can, because the overall structures are weakened, um, we can, we're free to form our own answers, to form our own little communities. So when Sex at Dawn came out, for example, I've often said that if it had come out 10 years earlier, I don't think anybody would have read it because people mm. still believed monogamy worked. But by and the here time I am it, reading it 10 years later. Yeah, right. And, and 10 years later, it's probably like, oh, this is fucking obvious, you know? But I yeah. think when it came out, people were like, it was just after the Clintons, you know, and there's all this Monica Lewinsky and all, the, all this kind of stuff was happening. And people were ready to say, well, you know what? Maybe this conventional marriage thing doesn't work because everybody I know is either divorced or miserable. Uh, there are very few mm -hmm. happy married people, you know? Um, and so when these institutions break down, it creates opportunity for creative response. And so I think people are doing that both in terms of relationship and in terms of living arrangements and um, career path and, you know, uh, nutrition and all sorts of things. People are finding their own ways because the, the major structures have fallen apart. 